rush. It is October 13th and I have just completed the City of Trees half marathon skipping in a Guinness World Record pace of 2 hours, 13 minutes, 41 seconds. Uh, that is, a skip is defined as a step followed by a hop on the same foot while the other foot is off the ground. You could not make any forward progress without skipping. The previous record was 2 hours, 27 minutes, 1 second. Here's what my training profile looked like and the end result. In Run Keeper now, 13.1 miles in 2 hours, 13 minutes, 41 seconds. Average pace of 10 minutes, 12 seconds a mile while skipping. Now the previous record was 2.2701, that was 11.13, so I beat the previous record by a minute and one second a mile, which I'm super thrilled about. Now let's take a look at my training. This year I trained about 391 miles, it looks like 140 of that total was skipping, and 250 miles running this year. And that's on top of about 1,000 miles biking, and I had plenty of training, Skipping is absolutely devastating on the feet, though. So folks ask me, how did you train for skipping? Well, like any other human, I have uh, small adverse reactions to making a fool of myself in public, and skipping is one of those things. I get over those reactions a lot faster than most people because I've practiced. Uh, and so I was actually at Disneyland in February, and I was like, I should start practicing for a skipping half marathon today. I'd be like, okay, family. I'll meet you at this ride, but I'm gonna go get fast passes for this ride in the meantime. So I'd skip over to the fast passes, skip back, meet them in line. Uh, they weren't embarrassed because they didn't see me skip. And I wasn't embarrassed because I was at Disneyland having a jolly good old time. And now I was originally gonna try this one at the famous Idaho Potatoes Half Marathon. However, I was on one of those, you know, ride and share electric scooters and I fell off in the rain. By the way, don't ride those in the rain. Uh, this is what happened to my leg. I ended up in the ER with severe bleeding in my leg, and I had to take some time off. Uh, it took months for that hematoma to subside. In fact, if I pat my hip right now still, I can feel it. Oh, I got back on track of training for the last few months. It's race day morning, and it is freezing outside. I mean, 32 degrees freezing. What does it look like before I put my socks on? Right foot. We are 10 minutes out from the start of the half marathon. It is just above freezing now. And what were you just saying, Lisa Marie? <laughs> Get up. We got to beat two hours, 27 minutes, one second. I think we're going to be able to do it. <laughs> there we go. I got 10 10 for the first mile on mine. All right, 10 minutes for the first mile. We're on pace. Two miles in, 20 minutes. Doing good. It was the hottest start I've ever had. <sighs> All right, so we're three miles in. What's the time? Uh, can't All right. We're, we're right off Three miles in. Minutes. About 30 minutes. The blister on my right foot is starting to pull up. We'll see how it goes. Four miles in. Yeah. The blister on my right foot didn't feel great, but I can handle it. I'm just walking a little weird. <laughs> Yeah, yellow <laughs> <laughs> Right, we got the five mile marker here. What's there for? I'm ready. Right at my fan, yeah, 215. Hey, sir. Yeah! My, uh, the ball of my right foot is absolutely on fire right now. I think I got maybe another mile of intense pain. And then I'll just go into borderline baseline pain. Top, top foot, left toe, foot, toes. Are sting into. Mile six, feeling good. We approaching the turnaround point. It's about the halfway point. Turn around here. It's feeling good. Skip around the corner. 
It's like dose do your corner. Just above the 215 pacer. Hey, Lisa Marie. Patrick, how you feeling? How you guys feeling back there? Good to go. Alright, it's all down here from here. I think I'm gonna try to pick up the pace. Mile seven here. Feeling good. Sped up a little bit at the halfway point. Yeah, balls of my right foot are stabilized. Try to pick it up a little bit here at eight miles. Try to drop down to 10 minute miles. Let's see how it goes. Eight miles coming up right here. Thank you, sir. We're uh, a little under an hour and 25. I'm starting to feel physically tired for the first time. I'm trying to decide if my stomach can handle another power gel. Uh, I want the energy, but it's just a little sour. Maybe another half mile, eat it, and then race to the finish. Whew. Thank you, Patrick. Please, Marie, how you feeling? <laughs> Please, Marie, how you feeling? Great. Awesome. Woo. We're coming up on mile nine, about 40 minutes to go. I picked up the pace to about 10, 10, 10, 15, and I'm feeling tired. So you just okay. Yeah. Well, well, restarted it. It was running for a while while I was down. Be right here, crossing the 10 mile mark. I've been an hour and 45 in. 3.1 to go. Half an hour. Let's do this. Oh, we had some camera issues. All right, slow me down 15, 20 seconds, but we're back on track. Hey, it's my family. They came at 10 miles. Hi, I missed the high five. Oh, I feel terrible. <sighs> the 11 miles, come on, 2.1 to go. The right foot is murdering me, left foot is just manslaughter. A little further ahead of the team. Look at that, that's not <laughs> Just past mile 12. Right foot is killing me. Oh, we're gonna make it, aren't we? We're gonna make it. Woo! Come on. Woo! Home stretch here. Come on. Come on. Woo! Did the paramedics help you out? I'm glad I didn't need help from him today. Just got the official chip time from the race organizer. Two hours, 13 minutes, 41 seconds. Come on. It felt pretty good early on. I had some power gel, I had Gatorade. I never practiced with food or water. And so having some liquids, having some sustenance kept me going faster. Um, I tried to pick it up down at the end, but two miles to go, uh, the ball of my right foot was absolutely on fire, being ripped apart. I'm about to take a look at what it looks like now. All right, here it goes. Oh, that hand looks bad at all. Totally separated there. All right, let's check the one out that hurts. How does it look? It hurts bad. Not as bad as this one, actually. 
This one hurts worse, but it doesn't look quite as bad. Okay, where are my flip-flops? And uh, my shoes apparently took some damage as well. It is worn off, what, it completely worn off the blue layer, the black layer, into the white layer over here. And then how does this side look? This side looks about the same, completely through the blue, black, and into the white. And this is what was hurting on that toe right there. Hey folks, if you like these videos, I'd love it if you'd like them, subscribe to my channel. And I'm trying to break one Guinness World Records title per week, and I'd love to document it for folks to see. Uh, if you put your mind to a goal, uh, believe in yourself and pursue it with a passion, you can accomplish virtually anything. Somebody asked me today, so when did you discover you were a phenomenal skipper? I'm like, I didn't. I chose to become one through hard work and practice. And you can choose to become good at anything if you put hard work and practice to it and believe you can. And when you get a giant blood blister in your foot, don't say, ah, I can't do that. Say, I'm gonna work my way through this. Good luck.